Okay. Um, good evening. Uh, today we'd like to discuss, okay, I thought na medyo na-discuss na kanina completely yung sa ano, yung sa issue with, with thinking Pinoy. And, uh, uh, wait, hindi ako maganda-maganda yung phone. Uh, thinking Pinoy and uh, presidential spokesman Harry Rocker. So we'll be uh, discussing what uh, the the complaint made by Ms. Pia Ranyada of Rappler against uh, the, if I'm not mistaken, against PWIZ, um, which, uh, I'm uh, I'm live. Hi, I'm live right now. I'm live right now. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> I'm getting here. All right. Uh, today, so presidential uh, spokesman Harry Roque was being interviewed on DWIZ's Carambola where we were this morning. And uh, in the in the ensuing banter, in the ensuing banter with Thinking Pinoy and and spokesman Roque, um, Thinking Pinoy. Uh, uh, spokesman Roque happened to mention uh, the phrase hollow blocks again, uh, mentioning that he is getting ready to throw them at his critics. Uh, of course, obviously, this was a figure of speech. Uh, then, uh, thinking Pinoy decided to continue with the banter, saying uh, that uh, he should throw at least one. And then, uh, spokesman Roque said that the targets should at least be chosen, or at least chosen well. And thinking Pinoy suggested Ms. Ranyada. As a result of this, uh, Rappler or Ms. Ranyada filed a complaint with the Kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas, which is a self-regulatory body. Okay, so what, what does it mean? Uh, the KDP is an organization, an uh, association siya ng mga broadcaster dito sa Pilipinas. So, uh, ang membership nito ay mga radio stations, um, at saka mga television stations, but not just the stations, no? Also, the people who broadcast, the broadcasters themselves. So that includes news people who read the news, or reporters who report on the news. They include even the showbiz personalities who do reporting on showbiz news, and political commentarists, opinion makers, and opinion uh, people who give their opinions as well, and who run talk shows. So all of these uh, kasama po yan sa, sa KBP. Pero ang membership po sa KBP ay hindi required ha. This is voluntary. Uh, if you will remember, a few years ago, GMA7 withdrew his, um, its membership in the, ano, in the kapisana ng mga broadcasters sa Pilipinas. Why is it significant na voluntary dito? Because ang association na to practices self-regulation. Meaning, yung mga sarili nilang miyembro ay uh, pinupulis nila. So, they regulate uh, their, ano, their own members. But, uh, not just regulate, they impose penalties. So, ano yung mga penalties na yan? Ayon dun sa broadcast code of 2007, this can be a fine both on the broadcaster or yung tao, like the news reporter or the opinion maker, uh, and also ranging from fines to a suspension. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? For example, um, when the violation daw is on radio, a first offense is 1,000 to 5,000 pesos fine, uh, on the individual and on the station 5,000 to 10,000 pesos. So second offense 5,001 pesos to 10,000 on the individual. Tapos on the station it is 10,001 pesos to 20,000 pesos, and so on. May third offense, may fourth offense. On the fourth offense, revocation of accreditation and or suspension, or uh, revocation of uh, accreditation of the membership privileges of the station. Uh, please take note that GMA7 is not a member of the KBP anymore and so um, it's not subject to these penalties. So what does it mean? So let's also look. Sa Karambola, from what I understand, ang 
uh, program or ang mga individual members dun sa Tarabola ay hindi mga miyembro ng KDP. Uh, thinking Pinoy, hindi siya miyembro. Tapos, uh, neither are the other members there. But I understand na nag-apply po sila ng accreditation pero ilang taon na po at hindi pa po yata natatapos i-review. Uh, ang miyembro ng KBP dito ay ang DWIC, yung station kung saan ini-air ang karambola. So, given that situation, ano po ang magiging effect? Well, first, ang tanong is, subject ba dun sa KBP rules ang mga, ang, ang mga membro? Halimbawa, si Thinking Pinoy, subject ba siya dun sa KBP rules? Uh, makikita natin, since hindi siya membro, uh, the regulatory, the self-regulatory body cannot impose a regulation on a non-member. So, titignan natin, no, that even if uh, they find uh, thinking Pinoy uh, in violation of the KBP rules, the question is, is he bound by it? Is he bound by them? So, di ba, yun yung, ano, yun yung pinakagist ng problema nila dito. What is the overall effect of having a self-regulatory body when you are not a part of that self-regulatory body. Uh, and what is the effect of a complaint by a member of that body against a non-member of the body? Wala po kasi dun sa broadcast code. Eh. Ang nakalagay lang po uh, dun sa forms for complaints ng KBP ay as a broadcast media association, the KBP administers a simple system of self-discipline among members of radio and TV stations as a way of promoting higher professional and ethical standards in Philippine broadcasting. So under this system, the KBP members commit to adhere to the standards defined in the KBP broadcast code. So if you're not a member, then you have not agreed to abide by those standards. Um, Violations of the code are subject to sanctions. And so we already read out that yung mga sanctions na yun ay yung mga penalties like uh, ranging from a fine of uh, 1,000 pesos up to a possible suspension. So um, since uh, GMA 7 exited from, I think it's GMA, no? Uh, exited from the KBP, it is no longer bound by, it, by the rules of the KBP. Uh, following that same argument, uh, since Carambola, the show Carambola, and its members are not members of the KBP, paano po may impose ng KBP ang kahit anumang penalty dun sa uh, K-Thinking Pinoy? Okay. The other question about this is, well, clearly, hindi naman makakasuhan si Spox uh, Roque kasi hindi siya broadcaster rin at saka hindi siya member. And in fact, he was not acting as a broadcaster. He was being interviewed in the in, in Carambola. So, di ba? Medyo simple lang pala yung, ano, yung magiging sagot dito. According to the KBP itself, since it is self-regulatory, it can only regulate its own members. Kasi you subject yourself to the rules of the organization once you become a member. So, Let's look at your, ano, this, this should not be, this should not take long. So, tignan natin ngayon yung mga tanong nyo. Sabi ni Christine Mendoza Batin, attorney si Pia po mismo ang nagpost sa Twitter asking TP na sabihin kay Mr. Roque na batuhin siya ng hollow blocks. Tapos, yung wish granted, umaangal siya, kawawa naman si TP, siya tuloy ang victim. Um... So that's another aspect of the problem. If Ms. Ranyada also followed the figure of speech uh, part of the, the conversation and indulged in the same figure of speech, medyo mababind siya dun sa paradigm na yun, di ba? Kasi ang condition naman ni Spock Roque na bago magkabatuhan is if uh, the member of the media should throw a stone at them. So, di ba, pinag-usapan yan kanina sa karambola. Uh, ang usapan, kapag binato nila ako, sabi ni Spock Roque, babatuhin ko sila ng hollow block. So, the in condition precedent, therefore, follows that if, uh, if Ms. Ranyada should ever become subjected to being uh, the target of a hollow block toss, it would be because she tossed a stone. So, yun lang po yung ano, 
Yan lang po yung, yung kung susundan natin. But if you think about it, medyo ridiculous na po yung argument dito. It was clearly a figure of speech, number one. At saka number two, hindi po miyembro si na thinking Pinoy dito. Uh, I think that Ms. Ranyada may have been targeting DWIZ uh, to be the respondent in their complaint. So titignan natin kasi uh, DWIZ clearly does not uh, subject itself to the opinions or what is expressed by the members of Karambola. Halimbawa, dito sa broadcast code, maliwanag na uh, those opinions that are uh, expressed by the station should be clear, should clearly indicate that it is the opinion of the station. E maliwanag naman na sinasabi ni Jojo Robles kanina na yung station hindi po kasama dun sa expression ng opinion nila. So sinasabi ni Jojo that the opinions expressed in this program are not the opinions of the station. At ganun din, sinasabi din ng station, inuulit nila na ang mga opinion na sinasabi dun sa karambola ay hindi po necessarily yung opinion ng station. So ngayon ang tanong is magiging liable ba ang station Doon sa, sa member kasi sila ng KBP, magiging liable po ba ang istasyon kung ang ine-express na opinion na ito ay hindi po, maliwanag po na hindi ine-express na opinion ng broadcaster, ng broadcast station. Ulitin ko ha, doon sa broadcast code nakaliwa, nakalagay na maliwanag na kapag opinion ng istasyon, kailangan maliwanag na istasyon ang magsasabi na opinion nila yon Pero since sinasabi ng karambola na opinion nila na ina-express doon, hindi necessarily opinion ng, ng stasyon, at sinasabi rin ng stasyon na hindi necessarily opinion ng stasyon yung sinasabi doon sa karambola. So, tignan po natin ngayon ang magiging kahihinat na ng kaso na ito kasi nga uh, bukod sa hindi bound yung mga main proponents dito, katulad ni na Titi, ni na Sir Jojo, and all of that, um, Ang stasyon, maliwanag na sinasabi nila na yung opinion doon sa karambola ay hindi din nila opinion. Okay? So, uh, ano kaya ang magiging, well, yun, yun ang nakikita natin ngayon na, na angulo niyan. Patingin nga ng mga opinions ninyo. Uh, ano po yung mga tanong ninyo? Hindi pa nakikita dito sa laptop, medyo mabagal eh. So, paki-shoutout, kumustahin nyo si Attorney Ahmed na nunood siya na dapat nag-drive na yan. Uh, ano po sa tingin nyo, Attorney, sa pahayag ni Spock Roque today? Uh, kailangan makuha ko muna yung mga transcripts ng mga sinasabi niya bago natin siya, ano, bago natin siya i-review, di ba? Para sa, ano, para sa atin. Uh, delicious. <laughs>